Hi guys, today I wanted to do a review of the Lumina Terror by Inner Hue. Um, they're based out of Australia and the deck comes in, a, it's a deck and book box set. And it comes in a box similar to uh, what Llewellyn used to have there box sets before they started using the magnetic clasps etc. So the deck is really, it's a black and white deck with splashes of colour. A lot of people find it similar to the Wild Unknown but really you'll, as you'll see it's quite, it's quite different. So in the box you get a, a drawstring bag, it's quite a sturdy sort of canvas type bag with the Inner Hue logo. In the older version, people were saying that their cards didn't fit, but my cards fit in here perfectly. In fact, the, the bags might, might even be slightly, slightly too big. So, and underneath that you have the book. And the cards. Comes with a title card. Let your intuition guide you. You are what you've been looking for. And these are the card backs. Um, they use the same design as their, the back of their other deck, their Oracle, the Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle, except it just has the one in the centre. Um, that's lovely. I think people were saying the deck was quite thick, and it is, but you know, it looks strange because I've actually put half of them backwards because I want to show you them. It is it is thick I guess compared to for instance this is the line strider. Yes it is but I think like this is this the second edition um, or the newer edition of the of the deck and I'm actually thinking that they've had a reprint since they first came out with the second edition and made it slightly different cardstock perhaps because it doesn't doesn't seem to be as big as I was expecting it to be. I mean it is thick, it is it is thick cardstock but I was expecting it to be a lot more bulky. Um, it is bulky. I mean I could be wrong, it also could be that they've just made the bag bigger as well so um, but when I saw someone compare it to another deck and it was almost twice the size whereas this is it's a little bit more but anyway the book is a nice book uh, it has, it's got some lovely illustrations about the deck um, working with the cards, gaining insight, tips, getting in contact with your intuition a few spreads, they've got a chakra spread, a manifestation spread, an abundance spread questions, a little blurb about the major and the minor arcana, a little blurb about each of the suits, um, they talk about a symbolic animal, each of the suits has a symbolic animal, so uh, for instance the wands animal is fox, the swords is horse, Hawk, cups is serpent and pentacles is bear. Um, they talk about the sun signs that are um, connected to each of the suits and also the personality traits. Uh, and then they've got just a little blurb on, on reversals. Then it goes into the, the major arcana where we have a black and white representation and the and then the uh, blurb on the on the next page so there'll be a couple of keywords there'll be the meaning and then the shadow shadow side then we go into the minors and it's exactly the same so there's actually just as much just as much info for the minors as there are for the for the majors and then at the back I've just got a little blurb about the creator and the artist so the creator is Lauren Aletta and the artist is Tegan 
Swiney, Swinney. Um, yeah, I have noticed a couple of sort of spelling errors and grammatical errors, but nothing too, too major. The deck is, it is a substantial size. Um, I've noticed some people absolutely adore the cardstock and some people can't stand it. I actually think it's beautiful. It is thick. I don't riffle shuffle, so I find it perfectly, I won't shuffle because I've actually split the deck. I tend to shuffle like this anyway. And um, I don't have any problem getting my, getting, I don't tend to be able to pick the whole, I tend to sort of take half the deck anyway. Um, so I've got no problem with that. The cards are quite thick. Apologies, my phone just rang. So the cardstock is... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It is quite thick, but it's a lovely matte finish. Um, it's got a silky... It's almost like um, those sort of... Uh, if you've got the Wild Unknown, it's similar, but it's kind of... It feels more like the Wild Unknown's book cover. I'm not talking about the original Wild Unknown, I'm talking about the mainstream version, uh, the Wild Unknown book. It's got a similar feel to that kind of paperback, that, that more modern paperback, not, not the shiny type, but the sort of silky. And, you know, I think they're lovely. I'll just do you a little qu a quick sort of show you of some of the sort of the colouring. Uh, it uses a lot of animal imagery, a lot of black and white images with splashes of watercolour. Um, quite a modern, some would say hipster deck. Um, so the, the people tend to be quite modern in their fashion and uh, etc. And as I say, a lot of uh, sacred geometry, a lot of animal imagery. Um, so I picked out a few cards to show you. So this is the Ten of Cups. Some of them are almost non-illustrated, illustrated but non-pictorial in their vibe. Four of Wands, a crystal grid. Nine of Cups. I think they'd be quite good for meditation or as a focus card or... You know, you could put them on your altar, all that kind of thing, if you wanted. Four of Swords, finding your centre. So as you can see, they are black and white with colour, but they're really quite different from the Wild Unknown. Five of Pentacles. Six of Cups, following a thread back to its source or its... Notice there's actually no spiders on this web, so might be on a web connections and things like that, but there's no spiders. The star. A lot of people find this one's quite boring, but I actually love its sort of bright, cheerful, hopeful colours. It's a lot of uh, zodiac signs and things in it. King of Cups, very sort of David Beckham. <laughs> King of Swords, very sort of gangster Harvey Keitel. <laughs> the Hanged Man. So 
the Hierophant. Five of Swords. Eight of Cups. Time to walk away. Two of Wands. Gateway. See how their wands, like they've got runic, runic symbols and crystal tips. The Empress. Some of the cards have been changed. This was originally completely green in the background. Two of Pentacles. Beautiful. Uh, three of swords instead of a heart we've got a rose with the pinks and greens of the heart chakra seven of swords bringing something into the light unseen Hidden the devil is interesting. Poppies, kind of like addiction and things like that, as well as he's hard to make out. Like you're not really sure what you're looking at. It's almost an ink blot, ink blot ish. Um, so I do really like that depiction. Three of Wands. Watching for your, your ships to come in. Seven of Pentacles. I think um, cacti can take a while to flower. Don't quote me on that. I love this depiction of the Eight of Swords, the little mouse. He can get free, but he's... Whoa. What do I do? Where do I go? <laughs> Death's quite fantastic, and, and the, the snake's actually like a cornucopia. It's actually split and has things growing from it. Six of Swords is gorgeous. And the full, just joyful new beginnings. Look at the colour. So it is a lovely deck. It's not recommended for a beginner I wouldn't think if you know unless you just learn completely from this kind of system um, it's really only the majors and very loosely the minors are based on the Rider Waite Smith system um, but you know it is it is a beautiful symbolic deck um, a lot of rich symbolism that you could um, research to find out you know that's a Death's Head Moth, I think, but I don't know much about them, and um, I think he's based on actually a popular image. Um, uh, things like that, so, yeah, um, check it out. So, again, that's the backs, and... We have been talking about the Lumina Tarot by Inner Hue. So that's Inner Hue. And I'll just show you quickly how they fit in the bag because, as I say, every, practically every review I've seen have said the bag's useless. Uh, that's the whole deck bag fits in perfectly. In fact, I tend to like my bags to actually be a bit tighter so that they're not 
a card can't move out of place and get bent in there. But still, I really appreciate that. It's it's not too loose, but it's a good sturdy, thick canvas bag, and they definitely all fit. So that was the Lumina Tarot. Uh, thank you for watching. Go check them out if you like them. Um, their website is... I'm not sure if it's inahue.com or inahue.co.au but you'll find them if you just put, pop in inahue into Google. So thank you for watching. Ta-da! Cheery!